With Mike Bordick, I'm Gary Thorne, and Dan Duquette joining us here, and we thank him for the time to be able to talk about the Orioles a little bit. Let's just have a, let me give you a general overview question here about what you've seen this spring. What do you think? Uh, I like the team. Um, disappointed that Tillman, obviously, is not going to start with us. But other than that, I think we had a good spring training. I like the infield. I like the defense of the infield. I uh, really enjoyed it when Manny returned from the WBC and we got a chance to see. <laughs> but uh, JJ uh, got off to a slow start, but he's going to be ready to go. John Scope, who had a good WBC, looks good. And he's hit a couple of home runs. And uh, Chris Davis looks like he's going to have a good year. And the defense has always been solid on the infield. It should be again this year. Uh, the addition of. Um, Trey Mancini I think is going to be very additive to the ball club. He looks like he can hit. He's got power the opposite field. He hit those two big home runs in Minnesota. And uh, my friend Eddie Haas who was a major league manager with the Braves said don't tell me you guys got power until he hits it out the other way. <laughs> and when Mancini hit that ball out in uh, Minnesota I called up Eddie I said hey, hey Eddie <laughs> we, got, we got a guy that's got some power. Uh, but anyway. Um, I like Mancini. I like the return of Joey Rickard. I think he's going to be good for the ball club. He helped us a lot last year. He was a very versatile player. Got on base consistently. And then when he had that injury, uh, we never really found a solution for him in our lineup. We picked up Bourne and Stubbs, but that was in September. Uh, but we, we, we missed uh, Joey Rickard. I'm, I'm glad to see him back. Adam Jones looks like he's poised to have a good season and I'm I'm impressed by Seth Smith although we haven't seen a lot of him in the spring what we have seen of him it looks like he's going to be an upgrade defensively in right field and I really like the way he works his at bats he's averaged about 60 walks per year and he really makes the pitchers work so I think that's going to be good and uh, Kim is back. Uh, he got a slow start in spring training starting to swing the bat a little bit. I think he'll have a good year. Uh, but uh, um, you know it's going to come down to uh, the pitching right it's going to come down to the, to the pitching and we're going to need Kevin Gosman to continue to progress and we've seen some really good signs they had a great game against the Tigers here a couple of weeks ago Bundy looks good he's had a good spring and um, Miley and Jimenez need to pitch like they've established for themselves in the big leagues and that's win a couple more than they lose. It'll be interesting to see what the fifth starter comes out. If Aquino has looked very good, our pitching coaches have done a nice job with Jason Aquino. When we picked him up a year ago from the Cardinals, we got him out of spring training when they uh, were going to take him off the roster, and he had a changeup and he had a sinking fastball, and now he's got a slider and a curve to go with that, and he's got command of those pitches. So I hope he can come up and help us, uh, and you know it can help us. Ty Wilson. He's a real professional. There's a guy that does a good job day in and day out. Whatever job you ask him to do. So he's a good utility man for the pitching staff. And um, Zach Britton had a slow start to spring training and he's starting to pitch. You know, he did an extended stint yesterday with four outs and he got to throw a lot of pitches. So I was glad to see that. Gibbons looks good. Brock looks good. O'Day looks good. And Donnie Hart picked up this year where he left off last year he looks he looks very strong so I, I, I like to bullpen and um, if our starting pitching is pretty decent we're going to score a lot of runs I mean we got power just about every position yeah. and I think we're going to have better outfield defense this year if we're playing uh, Trumbo more as DH and less in right field I think Seth Smith's a better fielder and uh, Adam Jones if that catch he made in the WBC is any <laughs> indication he wants to have a good year he wants to get back in that gold glove consideration. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So um, and then uh, we got we got Kim and uh, uh, Rickard and left and I'll tell you what Gentry's look good in spring training. He's been a real plus and there's a there's a top quality defensive outfielder who can run the bases and he's had some good success against left handed pitching over the course of his career. He's looked good too so he, he's an option for our team. This other kid Tavares looked pretty good. The kid we picked up from the Red Sox. So there, there's still options to help our team but they bring an element of speed uh, to the ball club and Gentry in particular is really good uh, defensive player and a real top quality base runner. 
You know, Dan, it seems like every year uh, winning teams get tested throughout the organization. And if you don't have that kind of depth, you're going to have a hard time. Well, it seems like this spring, not only the extra players you brought in, you brought Andino back. Uh, of course, uh, Janish is back, Johnson over at third base. So that's some added depth. But even some of the minor leaguers that were brought over, some young pitchers were very impressive and some young outfielders as well. So it seems like the organization is really starting to head in the right direction as far as overall depth. Well, we got some players coming up from our minor leagues, which I'm really happy about. Chance Cisco, the left-handed hitting catcher that hit an off-field off home run against the Tigers to win a game a couple weeks ago. He's got a chance to be an offensive hitting catcher, and he's improved his defensive skills. Stephen Crichton came over. Uh, that's a kid we got out of TCU, pitched in double-A last year, and I think he's had eight or nine consecutive scoreless innings. He's looked good. He got a 95-mile-an-hour fastball and a good slider. And I'll tell you, probably the most impressive young player I saw all spring was this kid, Cedric Mullins, the, the center, the center mm -hmm. fielder that we brought over. He hit seven home runs in spring training in the games between the, the B games and, and the uh, playing for the major league team and the minors. And anybody that watched him saw him hit a home run to left field off uh, Kimbrel, the Red Sox ace reliever, right? The day before, he hit a home run to center field, okay? And two games before that, he hit a home run to right field. Call Eddie Haas. Well, well, <laughs> <laughs> well I, I mean, here, here's a guy. He's probably the fastest guy we have, too. He ran, he ran like a 6'5", 60 for Brady on the backfields last week. So here's a guy we got in the 13th round that can play center field. He's probably the fastest guy we got. And he come into big league camp and he showed power to all fields. Now that's got to be very heartening to the Orioles organization for a guy like that. He's going to be in Bowie this year. But, you know, I mean, how, how many guys we got that can run like the wind and hit the ball out of uh, all parts of the ballpark? I mean, you know, it's, it's not, too, not too many of them. So. I'm not going to get too excited about it, but he showed some really good raw skills. You are excited. Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see that. I mean, this guy, this guy can run and he can hit and he can hit with power. Wow. Orioles have runners on at first and second base, and the left-hander Matthew Boyd working here to somebody that the Dan's been talking about, Trey Mancini, who is, certainly looks like the opportunity to head north is going to be there with the ball club and uh, he's going between first and right field in this game today back and forth he and Mark Trumbo are trading spots I mean Mancini's name has been up on the list it's, it's not a great surprise I guess that he would be uh, that he would be here is it well he's a 320 lifetime hitter in the minors yeah he won the Eastern League batting title a year ago you know I, I hear these people they don't like our farm system OK but if Trey Mancini comes up and makes a ball club and then uh, Chance Cisco comes around and then we got Bundy and Gosman. Uh, those guys are all come up through the farm system. I say if you want to know about our farm system you come out and see our major league team play because most of these guys came up through the farm system and it's a tribute really to uh, Brian Graham the player development director Kent Qualls our director of minor leagues Gary Rasich uh, and his scouts Gary's our scouting director and they do a good job and uh, Matt and Danny Haas are good scouts too. I've been with those guys for a long time and they, they're, they're good judges of talent. So I like the foundation that they've given us to advance the club this year. Runners off first and second base. Ground ball towards the middle. It'll be backhanded on the flip. And what a great play. Must be close to opening day. Infante to Ryan to Navarro. That's just a major league double play as Infante made that flip underhanded Dan we can't thank you enough really appreciate it we'll see you back in Baltimore Monday Thanks excited obviously opening day thank you thank you Detroit on top one nothing